Shooting film is something I love to do. It's something I've become obsessed with over the past five or six years. While I have this obsession with shooting film, I'm just a hobbyist. I don't do it professionally. I've done second shooting for my wife, who's a wedding photographer. I've done video projects, but when it comes to photography, that's something I just do for fun and I love doing. That being said, the price of film continues to skyrocket. And in this video, I wanna see if I can make digital images look like film as a way to save money and get this feeling of film while not spending the money to keep shooting film. This past week I took a trip to Louisville. It was just a day trip, drove in the morning. I was there to get a tattoo. After the tattoo appointment, I drove right home. When I got there, the power was out at the tattoo shop. So I kind of had a little bit of free time to just walk around. And on this trip, I brought my Sony A6600 with me. Since I had some time to kill, I just spent some time walking around through the neighborhoods that were around this tattoo shop and I took some photos. While yes, I still have a couple rolls of film in the fridge, I've got my film cameras, the cost of buying more film and the cost of developing and scanning is a little too high for me right now to just use a roll of film on a quick day trip to Louisville. And in my previous video, I said I wanted to try and make some digital images look like film, see if that was something I could do. So I thought this trip would be a great opportunity to do that. So the way this is gonna work is I'm gonna show you just the shots that I took while I was walking around Louisville. I tried to have this mindset of, this is not a digital camera, but I'm shooting as if this is film. So I was very intentional with my shots, more so in the fact that I didn't take very many pictures. I wanted to give myself a limit of no more than 24 to 36 pictures, and I don't even think I hit that number but I wanted to give it this film feel, even though I had a massive lens and a pretty big camera body and it didn't feel like shooting film at all. So let's go through these photos. First, I'm gonna show you the raw image. After that, I'm gonna show you the image again, but with the edit I put on it to make it look as close to film as possible. I tried mimicking some of my previous film shots in terms of grain, in terms of colors, saturation, contrast, things like that. And then I'll show them side by side so we can get the full effect. At the end of the day, they don't look like film. I tried my best. I watched some videos on YouTube to see how are people doing this, because some people do it really well. And I took some of their ideas and then I compared it with my own film images and got it as close as I could. But there's still just something different. And I think looking at the images, it truly comes down to the sharpness, the texture, and the clarity for me. Film images have this haziness to them, at least the ones I've been taking with my Minolta that I've been grown accustomed to. I've loved seeing that haziness. So at the end of the day, was I able to make my digital photos look like they were shot on film? I don't think so. I think there's a lot of room in editing still where I can maybe tweak it more and get it closer. But the thing I love most about shooting film is that I don't have to edit them to get that look. I press the button, I take the photo, I forget about it for a couple weeks, and then I get the scans back, and I'm surprised with how good the images end up looking, how real they feel, how raw and natural they are. That's something I just love about film, that shooting digital just doesn't give me. I am aware that Fuji makes cameras like the X-E4 and the X-100V that have the JPEGs with the film simulations on them. I wanna try the newer versions of those because a few years ago I actually had an X100T and I hated shooting on it. The shooting experience just felt like a mix of film and digital, but I was still checking the screen too much. And with film, you take the picture, you don't check it for a couple weeks, I'm just trusting the process. And with that Fuji X100T, I was 
not able to trust the process and I was still shooting more than I should have been. But maybe it's time I try the X-E4. I'm really fascinated with that camera. I love the body style, but I think if I were to try something like that, I've gotta give myself those limits of don't check the photos after, like get my exposure, get the shot and move on. So who knows, maybe I'll try one of those Fuji cameras in the future, but I actually just ordered a new point and shoot film camera off Mercari this past week. And so that's on its way here. I'm excited to test that out over the next week. And it'll be my first experience using a point and shoot film camera, but it's got an F3.5 lens, 35 millimeter lens. I'm really excited for that. So if you wanna see that video with those images around Nashville, just let me know down in the comments because I think it's still gonna be fun, even though film prices are expensive, to test different film cameras that I'm finding for 20 or $30 off Mercari or eBay. So ultimately, I know film is so expensive right now, but I'm gonna be on the hunt to find cheap rolls of film because even the rolls of film I don't love that much, like the Fuji Superior Extra 400, I still like that more than shooting digital, which is kind of this backwards mentality with technology, but it just feels different. And I love shooting film. And so I wanna keep shooting it. I've gotta be particular when I take shots, but I'm just excited to try a new point and shoot. And if I can find film for cheap, just keep shooting film. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Did these digital shots look like they were shot on film? Again, I don't think so, but I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts or what I might be able to tweak in editing to make them look more like film. If you're new, be sure to hit subscribe. We are getting so close to 300 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for all the engagement, all the likes, the comments over the past few weeks. Uh, it's been really fun just interacting with you guys and hearing your outlooks on shooting film too. It's been so fun to read those comments. And I also wanna say thank you to everyone that supports me on Patreon. Uh, if you didn't know, I have a Patreon where these videos get uploaded a day in advance for people that support me there. You can find the link down below. That's all I have for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.